My name is Jerry Connolly and I am Head of Curation and Engagement here at Worthing Museum and Art Gallery. My speciality is in dress history and I curate the costume collection here at the museum. This amazing dress behind me in shot um, dates from the 1760s and came into the collection in 1977. The dress is a silk brocade with silver threading running through. Not much research had been done on the dress up until around 2010, and when we had a conservator look at the dress, um, and although we knew it was altered, we didn't know what period that alteration related to. So we uh, did some investigation, and the assumption is that it was altered for fancy dress in the late 1800s, early 20th century. After some investigation by the conservator, we discovered that the original facings were still on the dress. So we were able to bring the dress back to the 1760s because we actually had example of the original fabric that was used and the weight and the color. So we were able to return it to as close to the original as we could. So the dress you see before you is as close to the original. However, I would have to point out that the petticoat and the stomacher are not, they're mock-ups. The dress is a sackback, more commonly known within the dress history terms as a robe à la française. I open by saying that the dress was a court dress, and it probably was, and we make some assumptions around that because the dress fabric is so expensive. It's got some silver threading running through the weave, which would have made it very expensive. Silk itself was expensive, but then by adding silver threading, it just increases that expense so much more. And also, um, the amount of fabric that was needed to make a sack back. So there was huge folds of fabric at the back of the dress, and also just the wideness and the shape of the skirt, which was supported by penniers. This also gave the opportunity to show off the design of the fabric on the dress, which um, in the Rococo style was quite large um, weaves, weave patterns, so you could see the complete pattern from the front of the skirt and from the back of the robe itself. The petticoat in a dress like this would have been seen. We have evidence of varying petticoats within the collection, so some of the dresses within um, the extensive collection has uh, matching petticoats to the main robe, but also has contrasting in either contrasting fabric or in a quilted fabric. We also know that this would have probably been certainly for a high occasion. So even if it wasn't for a court event, it certainly would have been for a high function. And if you can imagine looking at this dress with that silver threading running through it in a candlelit room, the entrance that somebody would have made, but also the effect of that dress if somebody was moving around the room or dancing in this dress would have been quite spectacular. The stomacher at the front of the bodice, which was a separate piece of fabric and very often was decorated with precious stones. Of the dresses that we've got in the collection from this period, none of the stomacher survives. And in fact, we don't even have a stomacher in the collection as a sample, um, which is really interesting, but also completely understandable when you think of those precious stones that were used in them. They were often deconstructed and would have been used in other garments or um, for other uses. So very few of them actually survive in collections anywhere. So you have this dress which has the robe and then the stomacher and the person wearing it would probably have to be dressed in it. So it's not something that you could dress yourself because very often you had to be stitched into them. Um, so very loose stitching. Um, the dress itself had slits in the sides of the skirt part which would have allowed access to the panniers and would have acted as kind of pockets. So there was plenty of places to carry any accessories that you needed, but other than possibly a fan, you wouldn't have actually carried any visible accessories. So the wearing of the dress was all about show. It was all about presenting your wealth. It was about representing you and your status. And this was a very high status dress. Mm -hmm. 